everybody. Welcome to Psychic Medium Tony Green Relationship Edition. So today we are going to discuss everything relationships. Yep, everything relationships. I will be taking callers, answering questions about um, love relationships, romance, and what one and done relationships, if that's what you want to talk about, whatever you want to talk about today, relationship wise, we are going to discuss it. Um, I have a show that airs every Monday uh, at noon live on YouTube and on many, many podcasts. It also gets restreamed or streamed on Roku, Rude Rangers TV and airs on WSCS. If for some reason um, the show goes over and you don't get to see the rest of the show on WSCS or whatever streaming station you're watching, please go to YouTube or my website and you'll be able to see the show. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to go to the first caller. Um, when I call out your area code, please have a specific question ready for me and uh, put your phone off of speaker and Bluetooth and your name and where you're calling from. That's a lot of instructions for people. <laughs> okay, 520. 520. Oh, Lord. I'm so sorry. Where are you calling? I thought you were going to talk first okay so <laughs> i I'm normally do <laughs> i'm sorry go ahead I'm sorry go ahead no no go ahead uh, arizona arizona okay and your... i wanted to <laughs> what go ahead oh i was gonna say and your first name all right that's okay oh lisa. lisa lisa well how can i help you today lisa um my adult son like in his late thirties coming this year. Um, can you tell me how he's doing? Is he back on drugs? Uh, yes. Yes. Um, oh, wow. It's been about a month and a half at least that he has been back on them. Um, he is not going to be honest about it. He is, obviously, he is trying to hide it. He is, um, I hear the word confiscating, confiscating. Uh, I, that can mean a lot of different things for a lot of different reasons. I do feel like he is going to have some, he is, he's confiscating. Or something's being confiscated. Something, okay, it's been, either he's been on them for at least a month and a half or in a month and a half, something, nope, you know what? He's been on them for a minimum of a month and a half again. And he is going to have some something confiscated and he is going to, There, it, it's all going to come open. It's all going to come open in approximately the three-month mark. I need to mute you because there's some background noise on your phone. Um, so I'm sorry about that, but I'm going to finish answering your questions. Um, something is, either something is going to be confiscated or he, he, he is going to be, so within three months or around the three month mark, it's going to be made public and, and you're going to know for sure. And I'm so sorry for what you're going through. It's a very difficult thing to go through. Um, so I, I apologize for your suffering with him and the, the everything you're going through with him. Hey, I see Rude Rangers is joined me on... Um, YouTube, Rudy, do you want to jump in and take callers with me for this Relationship Wednesday? What's your area code, love? Is it the 828? Is that you, Rudy? I hope he's listening. <laughs> I'm not just talking. I think it's, I know his number starts with 828 or 845. 
I don't remember. Rudy, if you want to jump on and take callers with me, please um, uh, call in and do it. The number is um, 845-277-9131. Rudy, I know callers would love to get your perspective on things. Hey, Fawn, how are you? And Steve, thank you for joining and commenting on YouTube. I'm going to go directly to the next caller who is 412. 412, how are you doing today? Hi, my name's Keisha. Hey, and Keisha. I'm calling from Pennsylvania. Hey, Keisha, how can I help you today? Um, yes, um, I wanted to know his name is Jamal, and we were like together in the past, and he just came back around. I wanted to know how he feels about me. Okay, uh, I'm sorry, his name is Jamar and he just came back around again. Okay, so uh -huh. instantly I hear this song and I'm going to get the words wrong and I apologize. Um, what's that song? Come round the outside, round the outside, round the outside. Something, something, something come round the outside. Okay, so that's the song. And I'm sorry I cannot remember the words or sing it the way it's supposed to be sung. Um, <laughs> that That is somebody out there is going, oh, my God, she just hella horrified that song. Um, I'm going to tell you, he is, um, I'm here. <laughs> Uh, somebody up there is is uh, so comical. They're saying he's a player from the Himalaya. Um, they are saying he's not serious at this point. Uh, he uh, and, they, and they are singing so many songs, and I'm sorry, but they're saying, uh, "Let me love you down." I, and I know again, I cannot sing, and I'm sorry, but. <laughs> Folks, just bear with me through all the musicals they want to put us through this morning. Oh, my goodness. Um, I, I want to love you down or let me love you down. Uh, but when it comes to full-on commitment, uh, he he can pull the trigger, just not in a commitment. That's what I'm getting. He wants to be able to do that. He wants to be able to. He he He, he wants to. I don't even know if he wants to. Here's what I'm going to say. Here's what I'm gonna say. We're gonna we're gonna walk past that. Doink doink doink. Step past that whole situation with him. And I'm gonna tell you that in um, end of February, beginning of March, and I see March second on the calendar. Now this doesn't mean it's gonna happen exactly on this day. This might be the day that something opens up that allows it to come in. Somebody brands banking. Boom boom. Brands banking new is coming into your life. And they are going to be, um, they're going to be kind of what you're looking for is what I'm hearing. But sometimes we have to really pass that test of I'm, I, I'm ready to let go of the old, all the old. I'm ready to take the training wheels off of the bike. I'm ready to uh, do all, do all of that and move on to something brand new. I'm I'm done with the comfort zone, the old slippers with the holes in them. I'm finally throwing them in the garbage. I don't care how comfortable they are. I'm I'm just letting them go and I'm moving on. Um, what the, the, what your angels are asking me to ask to to remind you? There's a reason this didn't work out the last go round. And you have to go back and think about all of those reasons and then just like hit skip, hit skip and go to the next one. This is not going to end the way you want it to or the way he is saying it might or the way you th think it might. I, whatever perceptions you have, they might be a little bit flawed. And it's time for something brand spanking new um the new person coming in has a professional career um and professional career can just mean something they've been trained in like a um 
For example, uh, it can be somebody who repairs computers or cars. It doesn't mean somebody who's running an office or works in an office. It's somebody who is a professional and they're very up and up and up and coming. And they have their poop in a group and they are ready for a full on commitment. Now, if that's what you're ready for, the two of you will mesh perfectly. And somebody on the other side, and I feel like it's a grandmother, um, she is stepping in and she has a, a, a male next to her. So I feel like that's a grandfather. And they're saying, um, they're saying it's, it's time to, oh, it's the, the, the way she said it the first time was so good. I wish, okay, say it again, say it again. Uh, she's saying, oh my God, she's not saying it the way she said it the first time, but she's saying, let go of lousy, let go of lousy. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh. Okay, I will say what they say. Uh, these aren't my words, folks. Don't get upset with me. These are not my words. I don't even know, dude. I don't know if he's lousy or not. Um, but she is just saying, like, it's time for you to move into something new and something uh, uh, something filled with joy like so okay again I'm gonna say March 2nd which happens to be I think my sister's birthday yep yep my sister's birth March 2nd um, you, you have the potential to meet somebody on or around that date. Now, if you don't meet them exactly on that date, you, it might be a little bit after that. Like I also see the 15th. So maybe you meet them on the, the second or something opens up in you for it to, 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 to be able to move forward on the second. And then by the 15th, you should be in that space where everything is like kind of flowing and moving forward. Now, somebody else is going to come in in February. This is not your person either. It's another test. The person who comes in beginning to mid-February is another test person. And I do believe it's somebody from your past also. The person coming in that is brand new, the brand new person that it has their life together, that's the one that has the best potential for you at this time. Okay, sweetie? Okay. All right. I Thank you so much. You are so welcome, and I hope this was helpful. Yeah, because I keep going back and forth with the same people. So that's good. Yeah. Do you know what? A lot of us do because it, it, it is comfortable, but at some point we, you know, it's like a merry-go-round. If we want something new, we have to get something new because until people heal, they can't come around as a better person. Even if we want to see or think they're a better person, they're not going to come around until they get, they get some, some, some perspective just because they got older it doesn't mean they got better not everybody's fine wine right some people are just open beer and they're going flat that's all there is to it um get rid of you know here's one thing that you really i tell this to everybody and i'm going to say it again it, make three lists okay and this is not about manifesting. It's about understanding what you want, what you deserve, and just understanding what it is. The first list is, what do you really want a man to show up like in a relationship? Like, how should he behave in a relationship? How, how do you feel? What is a healthy, what are healthy behaviors for a man to have in a relationship? And then the second list is, what do you want this relationship to look like? What are the things you want to be able to do and go in and um, have? And what what does a healthy relationship even look like to you? Because we've all been through so many um, dysfunctional relationships and dysfunctional upbringings that we don't always even know what a healthy situation looks like anymore. And if you don't know, that's okay. Get a book or or get listen to an audio book and figure out what is healthy. And then third, 
how do you show up as healthy in a relationship? Because we also tend to fall back into those old patterns of past relationships. Like we have, this is who I am with my best friend. This is who I am at work. This is who I am with my clients. This is who I am with the man who shows up in my life. Okay, we have to stop playing those roles and figure out what's healthy and how we need to present ourselves moving forward in order to get that better relationship. And sometimes we need to define these things outside of what we've already experienced. And until we define it outside of what we've already experienced, we can't bring something new in. Okay. So I am going to do a clearing right now for a healing or a clearing for everybody listening, re-listening. And it's at about the 15 minute mark. We are ready for a healthy, loving relationship. I get a no. We're going to start clearing that. So if you feel um, like a, a dizziness, uh, pressure in the chest, uh, difficulty breathing, uh, that's, that's just energy moving out. All, um, I, uh, how could I say? What else can I say? I'm ready for love. We are ready for love. I get a no. So we're going to clear that. Okay, so I hope this was helpful. I look forward to hearing Thank back. You. Oh, you're so welcome. And I look forward to hearing back from you once you meet the good guy. And uh, we can discuss that also. Okay, love? Okay, thank you so much. You are so very welcome. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to go directly to the next caller who is 828. 828, how are you today? I'm doing great. Um, Excellent. Uh, Tony, my name is Stan. I'm in uh, Southern Virginia. Okay. Hi, Stan. Thanks for calling in. How can I help you today? Uh, let's see. Um, I'm, uh, I'm probably in my seventh month of separation uh, from my... Uh, Spice and uh, um, you know, I've got a new chapter. I'm looking at uh, everything with uh, new eyes. I'm uh, 69 years old. Uh, I've got we have a seven year old son together, and I decided to move out of Asheville, which is the area code 828, and go back to a uh, family's farm in Virginia where my sister has been living for a while. Mm -hmm. and, uh, one of the, uh, it was a good idea at the time, it was July, I made that I needed to get away from my ex-wife and her, well, soon to be ex-wife and her new boyfriend. Um, trying to figure out, you know, what I'm going to do next. And uh, now I'm in this position where um, I've got to decide whether I need to retain an attorney, uh, about some issues that she is pressing me for or whether we can work it out together. But uh, the, the big thing at this very moment today, I think my big priority is, is my sister's energy. Okay, um, so, so I, let's, uh, let's hone it in a little start, bit. Let's I'm hone sorry. it in. A, let's hone it in a little bit because this is kind okay. of a whole story okay. and I need okay. a solid question. And here's what okay. I'm going to tell you. Based on what you've told me so far, don't make decisions based on. Okay, so let me just let me back up a little bit. First and foremost, yes, when it comes to legal matters and you're already separated with someone else, unless you're an attorney, don't try to do it yourself. And let me let me tell you, I know attorneys who have gone through divorces that have hired attorneys. Okay, they are attorneys and they hire attorneys because. It's emotional, and if you don't know the law, and 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 some people can do a pro se, some people can go in and handle the, but both people have to be on the same page and in agreement, and can't be manipulative. Somebody in this situation is being extremely manipulative and thinking only of them. So just point blank, it doesn't matter who. Get yourself an attorney. Make sure you're protected and your rights are protected. Second. You know, I, okay. you need to be a little. Okay. 
you you should moving forward it's really important that you consider what's best also for your son and what his future is going to look like regardless of the adults that are in his life and i know sometimes that's really difficult but that's really where your focus and your priority should be. Okay, love? Okay. The, the, the question I really, quite, I'm sorry I gave you so much. Nope. Okay, so here's the deal, folks. I have a call log full of people. When you call in, you have a question ready and that I, as much as I appreciate every single caller and every single listener, um, sometimes, and I know you can call me a B, you can say whatever you want to say or not like it or whatever. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Um, but I, I can't let somebody come in and like, do that. Have a question ready and let's get into it. Let's answer that question and let's keep it keep it going. Um, not only for me, but for, for everybody listening also. I'm going to go to the very next caller, 203. 203, how are you today? Hi. Hello? Uh, oh, 203. I just got, uh, we just lost 203. Let's go to the, she went to say hi and I think she, she her phone call dropped. So let's go to 951. I'm so sorry about that 203 call back. 951. Uh, how can I help you? What's going on with you today? What's your name? Hey, it's Nathaniel Toby. How you doing? Happy New Year. Hey, Nathaniel. Happy New Year. So today is Relationship Wednesday, Nathaniel. What relationship question do you have for me? Well, uh, I wanted to see if uh, Angie is uh, going to get to see her again. I, I'm sorry. If you're going to see Angie again? I hear, yeah, I hear you're going to see her and you're going to see her sooner than you think. It's, um, don't have a lot. What I also hear is don't have a lot of expectations. Just, um, enjoy it. Just enjoy whatever it is and, and move forward at, um, what they're calling a very calm pace. Okay, Nathaniel? Okay, do, do you think she'll call? Because I don't have her number anymore, so she'll probably have to call her text. Well, I, I'm hearing that you're going to see her again. Do they run into each other? Nope. Yeah, I feel like she is going to reach out. Give it a little bit of time, but I do feel like she is going to reach out to you. Um, and you guys will connect in in that way. Um and possibly in other ways also, okay, love? Okay, thank you, Cody. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Nathaniel, and thank you for uh, being a loyal listener and uh, calling in all the time. Thank you. You're great. Thank you. My pleasure. Okay. I see 203 has come back on. Hopefully this is the same 203. It is, Tony. I don't know what happened. Thank you for finding me again. Yeah, absolutely. I don't know if you heard anything or just, did I get cut off right away? Uh, actually, you did. Uh, the only thing I heard was hi, and then it was over. So, yeah, <laughs> how can I help you? Oh, my, oh my goodness. Well, I put in a big, big uh, blurb for you. I, I said, if anybody's considering... A reading with Cody, absolutely do it because it'll only make you want another one. You give one hundred and ten percent. Oh my goodness! Thank terrific. you so I want much. To... Thank you. That's really kind of you. Um, mm -hmm. Well, um, okay. So ultimately, this question is a relationship with myself, but 
I have a hard time understanding my relationship with friends and people. I um, put on my manifestation list this year, you know, new friends, friends that appreciate me, blah, blah, blah. And bam, within two days, I'm in a conflict with a friend. And I'm looking at my actions, my anger, my wanting to walk away, um, and wondering, you know, what's my insight towards the other person. I question myself. I don't really have a clue about uh, if you could tell me what happened with the relationship. That's a quick thing that would be that would give me insight. But it's ultimately with me. You know, what am I doing as far as relationships? Um, is it desired income? Am I sincere? Do I just get hurt because I'm not picking the friendships? Blah blah blah. Okay. Um, so thank you. Thank you for the question. And here's what I'm going to say to you. Um, you know, uh, 2021 was a lot of turmoil, conflict, letting go of what doesn't work in our life. And when we put out there, like, I want a new job, I want new friends, I want a new, I want my, uh, what happens is, let's just, um, let's go with the, the, the new job one, and you can use it as an analogy. I want a new job. Um, well, you have to start looking for that new job and the old job is going to start to fall apart. So when you put out there, I want new friends that are in alignment with this. Sometimes you have to let go of the old energy and I am going to use it as energy. Um, we get stuck in these uh, things with people, whatever they are, and they let's just say they they uh we have to let go of all of that energy of the old, of the the friends we have now or the old friends before we can let in higher vibration friends or higher vibration frequency people and in between the old and the new we might have a period of time where we we are alone where we can self reflect and we can raise our own personal vibration or frequency or get in touch with where we want to be and who we want to be and what we want that to look like so that we can match what's coming in. So what I want to say to you is during this time, if, if conflict happens, just let it go, let the people go and allow yourself to, yes, do the reflection that you're doing. Don't beat up them. Don't beat up you. Not everybody's meant to stay in our life forever. Not people are just not meant to be, not everybody is meant to be with us forever. So knowing that we can let go of, of, of some things that maybe aren't meshing with us as we move into what will mesh with us. Now, one thing that I am getting is, um, you know, we, we are all very, we're repeating dysfunctional patterns from everything in our life. Um, and all of us are doing it. I don't care who you are, how educated you are, how anything you are. So what I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to say, you know, we are dysfunctional. I get a yes. So we're going to start clearing the dysfunction out and healing that because then we can move forward in a healthy, loving way and we can have healthier, more loving relationships, um, which is always the goal. Thank you again. Have an absolutely amazing rest of the week.